I miss the bow, it's nice. Gary wants the bow, makes you strong. Oh. <laughs> it's good. Dilly, 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 hold on. It's, like, it's nice. I don't want to put guys that guy yellow to stop. What? Unsee that's what it's like a sound. I don't know, I stop. I stop. Unsee, unsee that. Did I eat fish? That's blood. Ah, cool. I'm <laughs> By the way, good morning from Tapas. So I'm in Capiz now. Man, I'm eating breakfast at a Corinderia and I learned that they they speak Bisaya here. Come on, Bisaya. Oh, sorry, I have a video. <laughs> we video like video long. Oh, a video long. See si Manong, this is Manong. Say hey, Manong. Ah, yes, Dito. You gotta go down. Obos, obos. Yeah, this is Manong. Kabalo Basaya, no? Kabalo. Oh, and si mong pangalan, Manong. There. Manong Ronald. Ronald Dili? Oh. Alright, so this is Ronald Dili. I'm in a Corandiria. And uh, basically, I'm eating carabao soup, carabao sabao, and then a unique uh, vegetable dish. And si pangalan, because it's cassava leaves. Cassava leaves and uh, talong for breakfast, and I just learned that they speak Bisaya here, even though I'm in Capiz, so I'm not gonna get a single. Tapas. 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 Tapas Capiz. Alright, let's eat. All right, Mayan Buntag from Tapaz Capiz. I did not expect to be saying that. Uh, good morning in Bisaya, but as Manong told me there in the Karanderia, Kabbalamog Bisaya Duri, people speak Bisaya here. That was really a, a shock. Now, what you would have just seen is you would have seen me eating in a Karanderia in the main poblacion of Tapaz. Uh, I was really lucky. I got a caribou soup, a unique cassava slash bulad uh, gulai dish. Uh, talong and rice are only 100 pesos, that's why I love Corandirias here. You get really good food for super cheap. And one of the reasons I always go to a Corandiria when I'm alone uh, on the road is it really is one of the best ways to kind of get the local vibe and understand the area you're kind of exploring. So in this case, I found out from Anong there's kind of two areas, well one area you want to go called Marugo Lake, a uh, very well known tourist spot, so I'm going to check that out later. But then I kind of, after talking to him for a while, found out that there might be some sort of unique view overlooking everything in a place called Barangay Artuz. And right now, I'm actually on a Barangay road, uh, heading up into the Bukid towards that place. So uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to explore the hard spot first. I don't even know if it exists. I don't know what's up there, but we're going to check it out. And then, uh, bye. <laughs> and then uh, after that, maybe we'll end the day at the lake. So this is the mission, find a viewpoint, go cool your jet rocks and uh, adventure. Always check in at Karandirias, get the vibes and then go for it. So that's sugar cane on my right and then corn on my left. You better be worth it. <laughs> There's like five people on each bike there. Well, that is a fascinating view. Those ridge lines, they remind me of in Pasagong in Mindanao. But the difference is here, they're really green. 
You can actually see a lot of vegetation and trees on these, which is really a sign of a more healthy environment. Uh, I wish we had that in Bukidnon. I wish we, we could plant more trees. That's a good reminder for me actually to get involved in that. Yeah, I, I'm happy I actually came over here and saw this because it's just so fascinating to see how flat Capiz is. But at the same time, they have these little ridges running up and down and uh, you know, and then you can see way off in the distance a mountain or two. So this is really, just really beautiful. And again, you didn't see it on camera, but I probably had about 20 people pass by me, maybe 30, 40 people even. And all they've done is just had a little laugh, a little smile, said, hey, and they could all speak Bisaya. So feeling good. Okay, let's go check out the lake. So this is quite funny. I was just about to leave, but then I met these guys. They just pulled up. Hello. Hello. Ano po alam mo? Ah, Rogan. Pero kabalo mo. Rogan. Kabalo ko magbisaya. Ah, asa ko puyo ko. Asa ko puyo again? Ah, asa ko puyo. Sa 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 Nicolas. Taga sa Nicolas tapas kapis. Ah, ayos. And ikaw sa sa. No, malapit sila sa Pangilatan Falls. Ah, so there's a waterfall here. Yeah. So ano don maganda? Matas na waterfalls. Well, I'm gonna have to keep going then. We're gonna go find a waterfall now. So unexpected plot twist. <laughs> Look at this guy. Back on. Ah, oh, yes. I found the main barangay and I asked these friendly locals here where the falls is. They said, like this, go derecho, and it's called Pangli. Pangilatan. So I'm looking for Pangilatan Falls. Thank you. Hello, my name is. I love the barangay. Again, if you can just let people know right away what you're doing, what your purpose is, where you're going, you'll find that people will instantly start spreading that good vibe and you'll be welcome. So, Lamanong, <laughs> Pangilatan. <laughs> Everybody speaks Messiah. I keep saying, uh, Pari Mangutana, uh, can I ask a question? Pali Hook, please. And they told me I have to go off this main road now, down here to my left. Let's do this. Okay, things are gonna get bumpy here. So I'm gonna have to put away the camera. Looks like I'm going through a cornfield. And I'm searching for the waterfalls. Let's do it, Jeff Rocks. Well, I've got mud all over my back now. But uh, I, I had to turn back. Dilly Kaya, I'm gonna have to try and get a Hubble Hubble driver or something. <laughs> Major Lisa was a But maybe uh, I'll get Kuya. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Might happen. Uh. All right, I'm gonna go try and see if Kuya helped me out. <laughs> it was so bad up there. Jenny Lin, thank you. Asawa na? Asawa mo? All right. Jenny Lin, the wonderful Asawa of Jonas, is letting Jonas take me on a motor. I'm going to go to the door. I'm going to go, boss. Bye bye. Oh, it's okay. It's a tough part now. <laughs> I made it through this part, but it's a bad idea to double, as you can see. <laughs> this is the section I made it to. And then I had to turn back. Hello, Babalik. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> Go ahead and let the cat. The cat's go. <laughs> oh, there's a pig. No, it's okay, pig. It's okay. Woo!
<laughs> As you can see, I could never have made it. It's okay, long done. <laughs> nice one, Kuya. Woo! Once again, I find myself in the middle of an awesome adventure and a friendly local who's willing to come and help me out. Thank you, Capiz, for showing me right away how beautiful you are. So if you didn't realize already, we're very far out now in the middle of Capiz. This is Tapaz, no Tapaz? This is still Tapaz. Lots of maize farms. And Kuya Jonas is a legend right now. Ah, really, Baba? My back lie? Okay, look, <laughs> Kuya. Kuya Jonas is probably just like, what the heck, man? I go see Kulas, Kulas, man. Slava, Kuya. Oh, what happened, boy? Oh. Suerte, suerte, Magtabang. Oh. Oh. Ah, it's so. It's us, no? So this is the mini part. There's a big one there. We're gonna check it out. Down there, there's something. I gotta go take a look over the edge. Take it easy. Yeah, you gotta take it really easy going here. That would fall to your death. <laughs> You notice I'm in the jungle in the middle of nowhere in Capiz uh, with a random guy I don't know. And you think that all signs would be like you should be afraid, but you can just tell right away. You talk along the way, you interact with people, you get the vibes, and you know you're in good hands. Uh, if people are being very cautious and unaware and kind of pushing you away, then you know it might be better to avoid, but in this case, it's all good. This is a very dangerous climb. You have to be very like, I could not film on the ridge there. You have to be very, very careful, very cautious. One slip, you're dead. Uh, this part is a climb down. It's not too hard, but uh, we're about to go in the middle of a gorge, it looks like. Wow, that was a heck of a climb. There's something around the corner, I might have to go swim and see it. Tabby tabby po, tabby tabby po. Woo! Tabby, no? Dilly mug expect. Red Jolly Sod. Dilly mug expect. Tabby po. <laughs> Thank you, man. I love that. So, for the long way, we go. I tell him. Hmm? Lalim. Okay, lang. Dark. But okay, no? I'm going to have to swim to check out the waterfall, guys. So, once again, you know, everybody talks about Capiz and they talk about Aswang. <laughs> but actually, what you're seeing now, look at Kuya. He's going to the other side to spot me uh, as I go and swim around to show you the waterfall. So, again, for me, Capiz is going to be friendly, amazing locals and uh, awesome vibes right from the start. Woo! I'll keep my chinelas on for this one. Woo -hoo -hoo! Welcome to Palamitan Falls. It's a massive gorge in the jungle in Tapas Capiz. 
And it just rained the other day, so it's creepy water right now. Oh man. Well, I think that's as close as I'm gonna get. It's a strong current and it's so creepy. But talk about natural beauty. I would love to see this when the water is not murky. Hey, run! Hey, wait, run! <laughs> Salama! There he is, the legend himself. What a what a beautiful example of Filipinos caring for, for random strangers, for random guests in their home. This is his home, he's from Tapaz, he's a good guy. And this was a good experience. I'll see you back in the village. I got all sorts of green things in my hair. <laughs> ah. So, I think there's only one way to end this video. That's to show you my motor right there. Did you see? That's clean. When I was gone, Jason's wife, Jenny Lynn, she washed my motorbike because it was really messed up and dirty from me trying to go there. Um, <laughs> sorry, I don't know why I'm getting a tiny, tiny bit emotional. I think it's just, again, um, people, you know, especially, you know, in these areas, the, the respect they show you and the, the hospitality and the kindness, it's, uh, it's beautiful. And I couldn't have asked for a better first day in Capiz, so. Um, it's amazing, no? She, she cleaned my motorbike. Like, here I am, some guy who walks in, you know, with cameras and, and a nice cell phone and clearly is decently well off and, and, you know, they live in a very small house with their two kids. Jason is a maize farmer and they're doing me favors like that, you know, it's, it's, it's beautiful. Um, yeah, you can, I, I gave Jason more than, actually, no, I, 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 gave, I gave him, I gave him, what I thought was a good amount for to help him out, and he deserves all of it. And uh, I I don't know how I deserve this kindness. That was again. She washed my bike. All right, uh, I'm gonna end the video now.